Hey everyone, uh, this is Mwesko Mgwa Bosco, uh, the Literature Wisdom Center, that is the Karumuna in the Bugesera district. Yes, as usual, I'm your science teacher and I've uh, been handling different activities. So this time, we're going to look at a uh, revision activity of the work we've been carrying around. So I want to see uh, how can we at least answer different questions which are, are given. So let us uh, move together, but remember, in this lesson, I expect you ask you to have a discussion together. Yes, some numbers we get together, do together. The ones left for you, you do them. Yeah, this will keep you updated, such that when we get back to school, you'll be fine, you'll be okay. Yes, so let us look at today's work. Uh, so uh, today's activity, which is our kind of revision work. Yes, we are given number one. You said outline the four components of blood. Yes, so uh, we've been looking at this uh, right from the first, actually, uh, uh, day we look at, looked at this topic of blood circulation. So, yeah, now we are asked to just outline the four components of blood, okay? Yeah, we looked at the blood components, remember, they want the parts that make or form blood. Major, remember this time we had, uh, like, uh, talked of uh, the white blood cells, red blood cells, plasma, yes, uh, platelets, these are all blood components. Yeah, so we can write this as, a, okay, red blood cells, red blood cells as a component. Then part two, can talk of the white blood cells. Okay. Yes. Uh, then uh, part three, can uh, talk of uh, blood platelets or just platelets, okay? Uh, and then lastly, you have blood plasma, or just plasma. Mm -hmm. Yes, so remember, uh, these ones have got other scientific terms, which we refer to them, okay? We, whereby we say that for uh, red blood cells, we can simply refer this to as erythrocytes, okay? Can simply also be referred to erythrocytes. Then uh, for the red blood cells, we can also refer them to leukocytes. That can be another term referred to red blood cells. Um, okay, then uh, yes, the platelets, um, plasma. Yes, we can also have other terms, but these are very common, okay? Uh, like platelets can also maybe refer them to uh, thrombocytes, like that. Yes, then the plasma is just the fluid, pla fluid part of blood. So as we move on, Yes, we can now go to number two, number two after looking at the four components of blood. But remember, they'll ask you simply the blood components. We have looked at them, they are the four. Yes, so we can now go to number two. Number two, we are asked to define, yes, plasma. Simply, what is plasma? Yeah, if you look at plasma, comparing with other components, plasma is the liquid part of blood. As that, simple as that. Or one can say is the fluid part of blood. Okay, yeah, so we, one can say plasma uh, is the liquid part, part of blood. Okay, or we can simply say it's the fluid part of blood, so it's majorly liquid. Yes, this is why you find that the plasma has got a lot of functions transporting different uh, blood materials around the body. So as we move on, you'll be looking, shall be looking at this properly, yes? So uh, we shall see different functions of plasma. So majorly, plasma is the liquid part of blood, okay? So we can now move to the second part, yes, where we want to look at uh, the next number. Uh, in this part, we can see uh, number three. Number three, we asked to identify uh, the three substances transported by plasma, okay, around the body, other than salts. What does this mean? It means salts are also a uh, part of plasma, they are plasma components, okay? But now we are asking, other than, meaning apart from, okay, without mentioning salts or mineral salts, which are the other materials that can be carried uh, by blood plasma. So plasma can carry a number of substances. Uh, talk of uh, hormones, okay? Uh, yes, we are, which are the chemical substances that can regulate body cells. 
Yeah. So uh, hormones talk about uh, yes, you have water. There's a lot of things. Okay. Talk of uh, yes, from hormones. Yeah. There are men which talk of uh, food nutrients. Okay. Or digested food. And talk of digested food. Okay. Talk of uh, waste products. Waste products. Waste products. Uh, this can include carbon dioxide. These are all, these are simply uh, blood platelets components. So we are asked to identify three substances, okay, that are transported or carried, yes, by plasma around the body, other than salt. So majorly we have the hormones, okay, uh, we say that for hormones are specifically uh, uh, chemical, chemical, chemical substances, okay? Yes, that uh, regulate body cells. Uh, yes, so majorly uh, you find that regulate different body organ cells, different body organs. That there are hormones for, uh, let's say, for, for blood cells, uh, blood, blood, or blood. There are hormones, talk of uh, the female cells, the male cells, so all different organs, okay? There are blood cells with the hormones there, which relates their functions. So coming to next was uh, digestive food, which is also carried by plasma, and then waste products. So these are simply, we can also refer them to as plasma components, because they are made up, they, they form plasma. So these are carried around the body, okay? So uh, when you come to next number, here we are asked, okay, we give a number that are, below is a table about components of blood and their functions. Yes, fill in the missing parts. So uh, we talked about blood components. So remember, plasma is a blood component, part of blood. But it has also got its components which have discussed. Then, looking at just the blood components, which have looked, looked at number one on the other side, of parts of blood, yeah, we have next number which are given still here. So we're given the blood component or part of blood, then the function, that's number four. So we were, in our table here, we are asked to complete the step by filling the right answer. So look at number number one here. We're given dash as a component you have to fill. When we come to the function, transport oxygen to all body parts. What do you think this blood component? Because uh, when you get back here to number one, we looked at four blood components, which is red blood cells, uh, white blood cells, the platelets, and lastly, plasma. So these four blood components, they have got specific functions. Like if you look at red blood cells, these simply transport oxygen, okay? Then the white blood cells specifically fight against disease germs. And then uh, the platelets, for them, they help in the blood clotting. When you cut yourself, or when there's, uh, blood, there's bleeding, maybe the platelets have to be sent, or they go that part for clotting blood to prevent severe bleeding. Then the plasma does the function of transporting different blood materials around the body. So when you get back to our table now, you can be able to answer from that kind of backup. So let us answer at least number number one, and then we check together. You can ask together this part. So we asked dash and then transport oxygen to all parts of the body. So which component transports oxygen? This simply red blood cells, okay? Red blood cells. Uh, so the red blood cells transport oxygen around the body. So when you go to now part two, Roman number two, we are given white blood cells. So we are given the blood components. So then now we are asked the function so what's the function of red blood, white blood cells in the body? So you can answer this, okay? Look at this, and then give the answer. And then uh, we go to the next part. Also, my number three, we are given a gap to fill. So dash transports digested food and waste products. Yes, which blood component does work of transporting? Yes, as we discussed. So this is also left for you. Please, you can answer this. And then look at the last part. This last part, we are given the blood component and ask the function. So this, we are given the platelets. 
So what's the function of platelets in the body? So simply right here and then fill in the table. So uh, remember we said when we are starting that uh, we want to look at this work in the form of discussion, okay? We go together. Yes, when you left some numbers for you to do, please do them. For any problem, yes, check on our contacts. We can easily help you. But at least we need to go together. Left, some numbers left for you, you do them. It keeps you strong in all of answering these questions. Uh, so from number four, let us move to number five. For number five, we are asked, state any two difference between red blood cells and white blood cells. Okay, so to answer this, yeah, let us make this in a form of a table to make it easy for us. So we can, uh, okay, we can answer this in a table form, okay. Uh, when we are asked differences, it becomes easy. Okay, you can use a table by just combining, join the two differences by using the word Y, okay. But for this case, let's choose table form and answer. Yeah, so even in exams, yeah, you can choose either table form or just combining the two differences with, uh, uh, with the word while or whereas. So for this case, let us write this side, red blood cells. Red blood cells, and here we write the white blood cells. Okay, yes. Uh, so to be able to look at their differences, let us look at their structures first down here. Then we shall be able to answer up properly. So when looking at red blood cells here, okay, red blood cells, you can look at the structure. Majorly, they are like disc-like shapes, okay? If you look at their shapes, okay, they of this form, they are like disc-like shapes, the red blood cells. So you find that their shapes are not properly circular, but disc-like shapes. So you can see, these are red blood cells, okay? Yeah, so you look at these, their shapes, you can easily get a difference. So we now have here the white blood cells, uh, white blood cells. Uh, you see for them, they have no specific shape. You can see like this, immediately uh, the shape can change, okay? Here, these are white blood cells. Uh, the shape can change depending uh, on the work, the function. So when they are going to attack or to fight against a germ, they will change the shape to engulf this disease germ. So they can also ask you, how do white blood cells fight against disease germs? You can simply say by engulfing germs, okay? They will enslave the germ and then uh, fight, bring it down. So, when, uh, so these are simply the white blood cells. But remember, they have got a nucleus, the control part. This is simply nucleus, okay? Yes, this is what, this one which controls the activities of the cell. So when you check on these two different cells, types of cells, blood components, you can simply have the difference and we answer in our table. So looking at the shapes, we can simply say, red blood cells are disc-like shapes, while red blood cells, white blood cells, uh, have no definite shape, okay? Or here, they have definite shape, which is disc-like shape. So we can say, from part one, we can say, Red blood cells have uh, a definite shape, okay? Yes, which somebody can refer to disc-like shape, okay? Simply like disc-like shape, okay? Then on this side, the other side, we can say this one, they have no definite shape. So they can form any shape depending on the function. So if you're going to fight against this jam, they will change the shape in salon. So they have no definite shape. So as they're engulfing the jams, the shape will be changing. Like you can see here and then here. If this is the jam they're going to engulf, they will move towards the jams and engulf with the jam. 
So the shape changes. So that's why they have no definite shape. So you can say have no uh, definite shape. With definite meaning specific shape, or one can say they have irregular shape. And here, one can say have regular shape. The shape here is known. The shape is known here is disc like shapes. And they are not known. So it's irregular. Then the next point you can talk of, of red blood cells. Yes. Uh, these ones you can say red blood cells have no nucleus. The cell, the middle part, you see? Here they have got a nucleus, the control part. So you can say have no nucleus. Uh, have no nucleus. And this side we can say have nucleus. Okay? Have no nucleus. This side have nucleus. Yes. Uh, so these are at least two functions or two differences. We can move on giving different difference, giving more differences. So look at part three. Okay? You can also develop a difference here. Basing on uh, the color, okay? These ones are red in the color, major red blood cells, and white blood cells, major we say they are colorless, they have no color. Because this kind of white can see it's not, uh, not, not having a specific color, for, though we call them white blood cells. But if you see, not specifically given a color. So you can simply say red blood cells are red in the color, then uh, white blood cells have no color or are colorless. Why? Simply. It is that because they have no hemoglobin. Oh, that's why somebody can talk of the hemoglobin. You can say, here have hemoglobin that gives them the red color, while white blood cells have no hemoglobin. That's why they do not have the color. Hemoglobin makes this, these cells red in the color. Okay? Uh, and then talk of the number of the cells. Which of them are more in the body and which of them are few? So some are producing large numbers and some in uh, less numbers. So check, yes, which blood cells are given in large numbers and which of them are given in less numbers. That can also be a difference. So check more difference based on hemoglobin, which of them have hemoglobin, which of them have no hemoglobin. Then check uh, which of them have uh, I uh, have large numbers, I uh, produce large numbers, which of them are producing less numbers. And that's be now, uh, let's say four. Then I uh, add different, the next difference, number five. Yes. For number five, talk over the functions. Yes. Which of them carry oxygen? Like we know red blood cells carry oxygen. Then white blood cells fight against these germs. That is also a clear difference. So please. Add next difference as number five will be about the functions. So you can say red blood cells carry oxygen, while white blood cells carry uh, white blood cells fight against these germs. So this will push us, push us to next number, which is number six, where we are asked to identify one this whose germ destroys. Okay, whose germ? destroy the red blood cells. Yes. So check on this. We learned about uh, different uh, different diseases, okay? Yes. So you asked, identify one disease whose germ destroys red blood cells. So which, which disease attacks red blood cells? Yes. So check on this. We talked of different diseases, talked of malaria, talked of anemia, talked of uh, HIV. Those are all circulatory diseases. So check which one of them can affect red blood cells. Yes. So we discuss on this. So you can still answer uh, this number. And then uh, for number seven, we are asked to give four functions of blood. Yes. So right from the bloody components, now you can get number of functions. Just look at uh, uh, each bloody component the function. Then bring here because it's part of blood. Okay, so let's look at uh, some of them and then we see how we get together. Yes, so uh, for blood components with the functions, you can easily get this. We can talk of uh, uh, say help in the blood clotting. You can say, yes, 
Blood simply help, you can say, help in blood clotting. Help in uh, blood clotting. Okay? Yeah. This is by the help of blood platelets. Or one can simply say, blood platelets help in blood clotting. Then, uh, check. Blood, blood transport oxygen with the help of red blood cells. So you can simply say, yeah, blood transport, uh, transport oxygen with the help, with the help of red blood cells. Okay? Red blood cells. You can see that uh, we are getting functions from the blood components. So we can got, get back to all the four components and get the functions. Okay? So check. Uh, some blood cells can transport waste products like carbon dioxide. Okay? Can transport hormones around the body. Can transport salts. Those are all functions. Okay? Yes. Uh, this can be actually very good for us to go on. Some blood cells can fight against uh, disease germs, like white blood cells. Yeah, so you can go on adding more functions of blood. So we asked you four, and we have done two together. So please, add more. Check, what's the function of uh, the white blood cells? Then add here. What's the function of plasma? Just be next function of blood. So you can easily add more as uh, we move on. So this can take us to next number as number, f number eight. For number eight, we are simply asked, name the four major blood groups. Oh, we discussed about blood groups. And we said this was just easy for us. So we said we can get eight blood groups, okay? But uh, for now, we are asked major four. So from four, we can get eight. But for this case, let's look at blood groups. So we said we can have the letters, like I have blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. Yes, so we can write all of them here. Let's begin with blood group O. So uh, number one can be uh, blood group O, okay? Then look at Roman number two. We can have uh, blood group uh, blood group, uh, blood group, uh, that would be from, we have blood group O. Uh, so we can have next here, Roman number three, that would be blood group AB. And then uh, lastly, would be blood group, yes, A. Uh, blood group. A. Yes. So these are the four major blood groups. When you say blood group O, if you want to get another one, you can say blood group O minus. Because this is only blood group O plus. Okay? Here, if you want to get another blood group, you can say blood group A plus. This, okay, this is blood group A plus. Because you know in, in learned about integers. When a number has no positive, okay, or negative, we mean it is a positive number. So this is already blood group A plus. So when you want to get the next blood group from this, you can say blood group A minus. So you can have blood group A plus and blood group A minus. Then still to all like that, and you get eight blood groups. But for the principle of the major blood groups, there are four, which is blood group O, blood group A, blood group uh, AB. Ah, yes, so this was blood group B, because we have AB. Okay. Uh, remember, blood group O is referred to a universal donor because it can actually donate blood or give blood. A person with blood group O can donate blood to all other blood groups. Can donate blood to blood group A, to blood group AB, okay, and even O. Yes, but can't receive from A, can't receive from B, can't receive from AB. Can only get the blood from only O. That's with blood group O. That's why we simply refer to universal donor, can donate blood to all. Then a person with blood group, uh, let's say AB, can receive from all is a universal blood recipient. 
or your universal recipient. They can ask you, why is blood group A, sorry, blood group A be referred to a universal recipient? Simply because it can receive blood from all other groups, but can donate to other groups, to all groups. Okay? So this can push us to next number. That's number three, number. Okay, this comes our number nine. Uh, looking at number nine. Yes, for number nine, we ask, in what way is a person of blood group O different from the one with blood group AB? Yes, Don uh -huh. when donating and receiving blood. So from the idea here, we say that blood group O is a universal donor, can give blood to all blood groups. And the blood group AB is a universal recipient, can receive from all. So what do you think the difference here? Yes? So you can look at this difference and write this. Yes, you can do this. It's uh, from that idea. Yes, we can also move on. Uh, and then we have to go to number 10. Yes, yes, so number 10, yeah. Uh, we asked, this will be number 11, okay? Uh, so for number 10, we are simply asked, what disease of the circulatory system occurs as a result of lack of hemoglobin in the red blood cells? So uh, we learned a number of diseases that affect the blood system. So which disease can majorly? Okay, uh, be a result of lack of hemoglobin, lack of the red color in the blood. This time we discuss about it and say this simply can be anemia. Somebody of anemia will be, actually, somebody who lacks hemoglobin in the body or in blood will easily have a disease called anemia. So this would be simply anemia. Uh, and remember, Anemia majorly because, because simply when there's lack of enough iron or enough blood in the body, you'll be having anemia. So, uh, then uh, we, we can now move to the next number, which is our last number, uh, number 11. Okay? So, for number 11, you asked, uh, Musa cut his leg and the blood that came out was bright red. So, we asked, which type of blood vessel did he cut? Yes? So, mainly blood with oxygen, we know it's bright red, and the blood without oxygen is uh, dark red, okay? So, we asked, which type of blood, blood vessels did he, did he cut? So, check on the blood vessels, the arteries and veins, arteries, veins, and then the yeah, capillaries. Which blood vessel carries bright red, blood with, with, with oxygen, okay? And then which of them carry blood without oxygen? And we said blood with oxygen, that is simply oxygenated blood. And that is bright red in color. So this is majorly carried by arteries, okay? So majorly an artery, artery majorly arteries carry uh, red blood, carry, carry blood uh, with oxygen apart from the primary artery. So you can simply see uh, the purpose so he carried was an artery. So he carried, he cut an artery, okay? simply as uh, the blood vessel. Uh, so looking at this, uh, we can come to the end of our activity today. Yes? So uh, you asked to go through the work that uh, we have really uh, gone through. There are different activities you've been left to complete. It is your time, please. Yes, complete this work. It's very easy, okay? As we discuss together, as we keep following us on daily basis, you get different kind of ideas that can help you to answer uh, these questions. So please use your time and uh, do these activities left for you. Some have been doing together, some have left for you to complete. For any problem, please you check on our, majorly check on us, okay? You can easily uh, call us on our daily contacts, which we always give you. You'll get with us easily. And then uh, always watch B10 TV. You'll be getting more activities for you to help you uh, go through, okay? To, help, to always update you with work. Then uh, check on website or websites. You'll be getting us. And uh, simply, this will be good for you. We'll keep you updated. As you get back to school, you won't be having any problem. So we can call this the end of our lesson. And thank you for watching.